Um, the, the ultimate map in tier 2 or in 6 is anyway Badlands here and what a great way to close out this fixture and it's uh, it's been slow at times but Badlands is it's not necessarily a map known for its slow pace I mean there's plenty of ways to uh, crush teams that want to play defensive in Badlands there's a lot of high ceilings you can jump around back cap potential everything I'm really looking forward to this, but if you have just joined us, this is Team Forest TV with Admirable Hildreth and Ducky. We're here for the shit fest that is the ETF 2L Season 17, powered by TTE Sports Premiership Relegation Playoff. It's the worst team in Premiership that didn't fold. Lego finishing in 7th place, and they are playing off against the 2nd place Division 1 team, 425. The winner of this map will be playing in Premiership in Season 18. And the loser will be cast down to Division 1. It's exhilarating stuff, Hildreth. Hildreth? Hildreth? Ellie, baby? Hello? Is, it, is Hildreth talking again and I can't hear him or is he actually not here? Oh, Hildreth is actually gone. Ducky confirms. Thanks. Thanks for that. But uh, right now it looks like everybody's chilling out. They've just played two intense maps of Team Fortress 2 with so much on the line here. Uh, I've got a few players in spec, maybe taking a little break. Uh, I don't know what Danes do to relax. Smoke bacon or something, but uh, maybe rape and pillage a few local villages. But they're doing that. They're unwinding. They're talking about what went wrong and what went right on that map I suppose they did manage to win with a golden cap maybe there's some things they would like to adjust but I'll take this opportunity to do a little bit of promotion right now <laughs> I'm looking at the chat and I see Zarator has said Hildreth bored himself to sleep yes probably he's probably still casting to himself doesn't realize that he's uh, not connected to mumble anymore but you guys should um, Make sure and follow us here on the, the Twitch channel. You can head over to Twitter as well. The Steam community and YouTube, we, all, we use the same username on all those platforms. It's Team Forest TV, all one word. Follow us and uh, we'll keep you up to date on the latest happenings in uh, competitive 6v6 action in Europe and North America, maybe even around the world. Also head over to Tip of the Hat store. If you missed it at the weekend, it was a... Uh, Great fundraising effort there, uh, powered by the minds of Lang, Whisker Biscuit, Sean Bud, uh, Kurt Kurt, and many others. Truck, truck. But uh, you can still donate there, as I understand it. They managed to raise over a hundred thousand dollars for uh, One Step Camp, and uh, I would encourage you to support that or save your money for next year, maybe it's going to be even bigger and better, but they smashed their target, or their total from the last year, by at least, I guess, two and a half times, man, live on air, terrible. But and I'm, uh, I'm back for you, Admirable. Right now, Hildreth has returned, just as I was trash-talking him, and getting on board with these Hildreth naysayers in the chat, you've just come back in the nick of time to save your reputation. Just about, this is no I-45, no disappearing act from there. I'm back, I'm going to finish this cast. I'm really looking forward to this last map. Yeah, winner takes all Badlands. I remember when Furbo Pandas, my team, we won a Badlands in the best of three to beat a Russian team. Then get to Prem, maybe these are good omens for um, uh, Lego. Although that Russian team did have like like a Dutchman and Englishman on it and God knows what else. Yeah, you were saying uh, right away back on Granary. It seems like so long ago that you've uh, you've experienced both sides of this fixture uh, coming up through a relegation match and also uh, managing to survive on yourself as a Premiership team. Did it go to three maps? On the uh, on the promotion one, it did against Last Man Standing. We won the Golden Cap on Badlands to win. <laughs> hmm. Did I cast that game? Probably I've... not. Possible. It's V2. I wouldn't cast a shit game like that. Huh? You've huh? got to fulfill your contract <laughs> obligations for Team Fortress TV. 
That's all I'm going to say. They get you doing these matches because no one else will. Here I am casting a shit game. I had no idea this game was going to happen today until Ducky me messaged me two or three hours beforehand. And, uh, you know, I looked at my TF2 contact list. I was like, who can I cast with? I went down and down and down. And I didn't find anybody. Then, just on a, a scrap of paper in the bin, I saw the name Hildreth. I thought, mm, this is destiny. Some of the um, greatest things ever to happen in the world have been have come from the most unexpected. That scrap of paper in the bin was a love letter I'd written to Hildreth. Oh, it was torn up months re rekindle ago. Rekindle our romance, yeah, yeah. Tear stained it was. It's happening just back on until you rip it up and throw it in the bin after the match. But that's another sort of story. Have they paused? Have we gone live and they paused within the first minute? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they had just readied up, you know. It was the ready timer. The countdown and then pause. It could be that weird situation where you know the, the STV lags for a really long time and eventually you're transported into a middle, but I think it's a pause. And uh, I imagine and it's Dicker's internet connection playing up again. You know, Russians love to DDoS, maybe he's being targeted, but he did say in Steam Chat earlier that he's just was having trouble with his internet. It must be going down, getting dropped TF from the server. Maybe it's the TF2 gods um, punishing 425 for. Aliasing because you know the ETF 2 rules is Anak always been called Shoyu this season? Has come down always been something Russian? <gasps> Who knows? Oh, I'm paused. I'm gonna retry to the server. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, you I'm have gonna, to I'm stay not, in and cast it. I'm not gonna fall for that again. You gonna retry as well? Yeah, I'm gonna retry. If it, if it goes live, we'll just well, have to guess what happens. I'm guessing this intense um, pre. Round warm the roll out. DM. Oh, Dr. Phil's field is roll out. I can't see, I'm just imagining. Uh, he tried to strafe, but it turns out he doesn't know how to strafe. <laughs> There's something I've noticed people have called out about him is um, he doesn't seem to sort of air strafe. Do you remember X Fane and how mm -hmm. he used to air strafe a soldier? He does, he does have a bit of the X Fane in him, Dr. Phil. Of course, X Fane was a legendary TF2 soldier, just thought air strafing was overrated. Euro soldiers can air strafe, you know, we didn't have that technology at that point, but uh, the North Americans descended from on a high and told us how to do it. Uh, is this the, the live game? No, there we go. Wow, that pause was excellent. We didn't really miss anything, and uh, we have just gone live here. This, the third and final map of this relegation and playoff here. It's 425 coming from Div 1, trying to take Lego spot, Lego hold it on for dear life, winning a golden cap on the last map onto this middle. And Death is trading stickies with Dr. Phil, but he's playing in the house, very defensive. Krizzle comes in and just lands a couple of rockets, sends Death into the spawn queue. And that goes down as well, and with the main damage dealers here on for the 425 side down, I feel like Lego are pretty comfortable in this middle. Yeah, I was watching the Dr. Phil cam. Didn't fail his roll out, but it was a little bit slow. Didn't do, hit the jumps as efficiently as you can. But who really does do that except Cables? But uh, mm. Dr. Phil taking control of the trash area, they're going to get Spire for free. And then after, on, on the middle, going back to it, the soldier that put pressure on him, he just completely read him like a book and put stickies in front of him. He kept the soldier from getting on him or his medic. And from there, his scouts just cleaned him up and then they went forward. And obviously you mentioned that. Kenzie's uh, sniping from the, the left roller door and spawn. And this can be a position where you often get picked off if, like, Lego chose to do the Double soldier spam on the bottom. It's unnatural I uh, leave and rejoin there. There's a pause came in. But he's gone heavy off the back of that. That's interesting. Did they just go outside the spire? Oh, they're all natural drop, so they fell out of lobby to mm -hmm. such, you know, by the book play by Lego here. If you're one player, player down, though, that's what I'm saying about Lego. Like, sure, you're a man disadvantage there, but you have defender's advantage because you're not planning to push. You could still hold in the lobby. And be fine. Don't be so scared all the time, Lego. I mean, it's um, it's super safe play. So it is because it was no unlikely. No risks whatsoever. Yeah. The it's risk like... to take it is they they give free territory to 425. It's not risk free. They're just like giving up ground. Sure, they might 425 might push and fail, but they might push and succeed. Every time you give up territory, you're giving up an opportunity to take a fight. And like have it come out in your terms. They're just like, yeah, go ahead, 425. We'll let you execute. 
get another pause here anyway as I get yeah. mad again. Well, something interesting, you're talking about passive play. Half of the 425 team are in spawn right now. <laughs> okay. In fact, more than half. Four out of six of them are in spawn. And their pocket anarch is... I mean, I assume that he was probably just recycling to get some ammo from the Maybe Dicker's going to time it here and that uh, <laughs> Lego will get a free push on to last. But if Lego were like paying attention, like if they were in the lobby and they saw them go that passive and saw like four people in spawn, no stickies on the point because the stickies are in the classic bottom left bit that nobody uses anymore. No, I'll just be, if I was Crizzle and I saw that, I will just jump straight on the point and tell my demo man to follow me up. You do so much damage that way. We've won so many cheap rounds. How do you think a team with Sideshow made it to Prim? It's easy. Sideshow, man, he, he continued on that upward trajectory. You know, he left you for dead. Oh, Your scrub yeah. team. He saw the uh, the failing team early. He could have been in playoffs if, if Mike hadn't stabbed him in the back, you know? <laughs> Shots Mike. fired. Oh, you have to answer for that, Mike. Then Mike did a side show and he left his team to join the winning team. He's now made in Germany, so well played, Mike. You have won the game. It's okay, we got we we had shifty. It's all fine. <laughs> that worked out well for you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a great preseason campaign there. But uh, right now I have retried stealthily and I find myself stuck. Is the pause still happening? Yeah, it is. It's been going on for a little while now. I want you to paint a picture for me. Oh, actually, I'm in the server. Don't paint me a picture. No, do paint me a picture. What do you see in this uh, this diorama of death? All these players standing around in freeze frame. But nobody's actually in a position where they can do anything. Because, you know, we're watching a Lego game. They must, they must have these playoff nerves. Because I, I don't think I've ever seen a team hold last with four of their players in spawn uh, without an Uber coming into the point and then not having Uber. Because... It's a bit crazy, and with no stickies on the point, that point is so open. It's it's just there for the taking, really. And... Got an update here. Uh, Dicker has messaged me. He says, "Come down, down, come down." Is disconnected, and he isn't reappearing apparently. So they're actually looking for a merc. They're going to bring in Lippy, who is a soldier. Um, a little bit of history of the the four twenty five season. At one point. After MSH and Yang Pai left, I think Anak and Comdown also left the roster briefly, and Lippy is a Russian soldier who had played for them briefly. But he is going to be stepping in here as Romer. I think he's actually pretty decent, so it shouldn't be much of a difference, but uh, it's, a, it's a big ask to come in here in the final third, the final, the third and final map of a relegation playoff. Lippy needs to deliver. Is he... So who's playing Medic if Dick has dropped? No, not Dicker. Oh, it's uh, not Dicker. Come down, dropped. Ah, come down, down. Yeah, it's, That's what it's he says. Not as big a, not as big a loss. So as losing your Melika main cooler, I suppose. But yeah, it's a it's a big ask to jump straight into it. Maybe he'll have one of these inspired performances. You know, he's been sat on the bench watching. He's fresh. He's ready, ready to come in. He's been watching the listening to our cast admirable. He knows what to do. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, there's probably. Uh, a lot of Russians watch. Not sure if they watch the cast, but there is a Source TV relay available thanks to Fact Brigade. Shout out to Ari, and that was is made available. I think uh, Dicker asked if asked it asked me the relay details in the pregame. He wanted to give it to the Russian community. So uh, yeah, I'm sure he has been watching the game. But does he understand our pearls of wisdom that we've been doling out all game? My anger as he absorbed that. The anger that I dish out to Lego, if he if he fueled himself on that, man, he would just crush this game straight 5-0. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting it. It depends, really. Has he been taking in everything you've said <laughs> into his uh, into his brain? In this his context? brain would explode. Yeah, it looks like Maybe. the Russians do know how to speak English on the Souls TV. I've made first contact, so I'll I'll keep you updated on that. Oh yeah, I forgot we were on Source TV. You are uh, wise indeed. I will type uh, Suka Sukablet. <laughs> the, the, uh, I've, all night I've not seen one English person in uh, Source it. TV. Just been Russians. I think I misspelled it totally. But yeah, a little pause and an unpause. Uh, Henry says, this is not Golden Cap in the chat. I don't know what that means, but uh, we are back and playing Team Fortress 2. 
Take it away, Eldred. Yeah, maybe the 425 people not a fan of this passive style. The way they won that um, Golden Cap on Snakewater, leaving a bad taste in their mouths. But as we're looking at this push, can they take the first round here? Um, Lego, so you Uber into the point, going straight for that point. They've known there's no stickies on it, but Krizzle um, dies before he can jump up inside it. They're going to re-push. Now stickies are put on the point. I'm watching Dr. Phil doing the classic demo man spam from main thing. Scout jumps onto the point. Death takes him out of a nice pipe. And now Dr. Phil is running, and this looks like it's a fail push for 420. F sorry, for Lego. As I'm going to retry. Yeah, Helberg uh, tried to make that B lane for the point to draw players down, but it was like so. It was route one. He was just straight in there, didn't try and dodge or anything, and he died in an instant, focused down, and there was nothing that could be made off the back of that play. They back out, and he's actually decided to go sniper, so maybe that was a tactical suicide. Maybe that's why it was. Uh, <laughs> so unimaginative. They have natural on heavy and they have Zen on sniper and this is the the setup that actually ended up winning them the golden cap for uh, wh whatever reason you might blame the Uber of Digger but uh, maybe natural and heavy could be a recurring theme here on Badlands. Yeah, I guess they're just struggling in ideas on how to push last. They go for sniper heavy. They've been doing this a lot, Lego. Have they're very comfortable with, I assume, because of Helberg's sniping prowess. Even on Badlands last, you don't often see it, generally. But look how passive the uh, 425 team is, they're mirroring their uh, opponents right now. Heavy, furthest man forward. This time there are stickies on the point, but a lot of people hiding in spawn. Ev almost everybody is in spawn. I think they, they missed a the trick as that he does take him, um, Kinsey does take out a. Uh, Helberg, whether or not they push depends, but I think they miss a trick, um, Lego. They could like get some players in for free without using the Uber because there's nothing to stop them from walking in early except maybe a sniper. They could try and make something happen or just like take position and spam or something. But Zen is hiding at race up here as the uh, 425 combo moves forward and he can hear them there, he can hear Dicker Zuber. Actually, 425 choose to back off. They wanted to step out and see if they could find any more players to pick off after they had that one-man advantage with uh, Kenzie getting the headshot onto Helberg, but they haven't found it and they backed off and now you're going to see Natural and Dr. Phil and F2 moving in from trash into the lobby. They're being very cautious here, looking all around. Natural has got the shotgun out, which always looks hilarious on the heavy, like a little toy gun. As a spy, have they got on board? Shy Yu's in forward resup. Rotated round to Grey Bridge behind him in lobby. He's fun. They find they had enough. They're gonna run a spy gamble a little bit. He's coming in disguise as a scout. He hasn't found anybody in now. He's behind the combo. Is he gonna go? He takes down the soldier Crystal. It's not really like the big kill that you want, but it's sort of just gonna keep them stuck on last for a little bit longer. It's 420. Sorry, Lego just rotate. Back Immediately outside. they're out. Phil is uh, playing forward here. He wants to try and uh, use this sticky trap, but. Then he drops down this, <laughs> the calls coming in from Mother Hen there, Natural or F2. No, Phil, you might die. Fall back all the way to choke, Phil. What's and he's going to kill him? Here. What's going <laughs> to kill him? The invisible scout that just <laughs> appears out of nowhere. That 425, as half of their team are in their spawn. <laughs> Nothing's going to kill him. Just, oh. want to, just want to see him grow some balls, Admiral. I know it's a playoff and it's a big, lot, big game, lot at stake, but... You don't win TF2 by being passive. 425, I've got a spy again. It's going to be a knack, the pocket. Uh, Sid, the scout is currently playing heavy. And that's unusual that you see a pocket off class, but right now he... Oh, Dr. Phil turns around and looks directly at him. He uncloaks. He's going to get... Oh, a stab onto a Hellbrook who turns his back at the opportune moment and avoids the insta-death. Zen picks up that frag on the spy and immediately you're going to see Krizzle walk in uncontested top left. He actually managed to force the Uber out but maybe that was because Dicker saw F2 walking in on main and both Ubers create it. Dr. Phil goes down there though and that's going to hamper any repush here. No demo man for the repush and it can be tough especially with that heavy weapons guy still on the field for both teams. Krizzle is trying to advance the meta game right now by holding in the lobby and spot where players are which is really risky and something I've never seen before in TF2 but he's done it but then he backs out and they abandon their push pretty quickly I would actually like to see 425 just push to the right balcony here like bring their sniper up 
and uh, just try and roll the dice here. They could just sacrifice the sniper and Kenzie. Just go and take a shot, see if you can hit F2. If they want to sit back so far, and nobody's even watching the balcony, nobody's staying close to the doors. Kenzie could go to the balcony right now, take two or three shots, and probably still manage to make it out alive. But uh, they're going to play super defensive. They are just giving Lego a taste of their own medicine. <laughs> I mean, neither team really wants to push. I mean, it's not really on 425 to do so, but if you play TF2 the way some of the top prem teams do it, you know, when you see how passive some teams are, if they're giving you space, you've got to try something. Yeah, Lego are always, uh, you know, they, they don't see themselves as a, a top TF2 team or a top prem team. They don't even want to try and play that style. Oh, there's Hellberg finally peeking in and doming Pocket Soldier Anak, aka Shayu. And they're going to push off this one. Immediately, Ubers are traded. And it's still going to be 12 seconds before Anak respawns. That's time for the Ubers to fade and a repush to begin. And F2 is really trying to encourage his team, and they've pushed in on the top right. Natural is doing his best to kill somebody at long range with that minigun, but Phil has gone in deep and Scouts stack the point. Actually, Krizzle it is with the pain train times two there will eventually get it and Lego were very patient and they managed to get around in the end up so uh, good things come to those who wait I guess Hildreth. Yeah um, it was really poor play by 425 to let that happen they were winning the fight and then Krizzle just does a simple rocket jump from main that I was talking about and wins the rounds when they should have been able to deal with it but back onto the middle death is quicker than um, Dr. Phil and he's done loads of damage on that aggressive soldier that Got on his medic, managed to help clean him up, and look at their team swarming across the point. F2 is running for his life right now. He's not even going to try and heal anybody. He's going to go to forward resup, switch spawns, probably change to one of his um, weapons or hats or something to do so. Yeah, nice coordinated soldier bomb there as well from the, the Fortune and Five guys. Uh, Lippy, our soldier Merc, stepping in for a come down here on the third map. Did the sort of high double jump off the shit house and came in at the same time as an act and he just destroyed those passive Lego players. They punished them. Uh, Uber advantage here for Dicker, but F2 will probably get it just in the nick of time as the Uber comes in. Death is poised to push here. He's trying to decide how to do it. There's no pyro on the field, so they don't necessarily need to bring a scout, but they need to do enough damage to force the Uber and then try and focus their attention either on the point or the players who are not within range of the medic. That would be the sort of general as high level as possible abstracted thinking I can't tell you what the specifics of their next push are going to be but that's uh, probably what, what they're going to try and do Hildreth. <laughs> are they going to copy Lego's strategy and not push? Wait for a sniper pick? Yeah maybe. They might need a sniper to do that first so uh, suicide, phase somebody. One, suicide somebody in. Phase 2 switch to Are they sniper. trolling Lego here? Are they just like going to sit back and laugh to themselves for the next 10 minutes and then say okay we push Death's trying to clear stickies off the point with rollers so maybe they're trying to like maybe do a uber on the point or something but I think Phil's just going to replace them fairly standard stuff yeah they're just waiting maybe they're playing mind games with Lego Dr. Phil's actually on top of the little tube inside the point which is something interesting so he's not actually going to be there to deny space and stop 425 from coming in the, the um, doors as easily a couple of people trade frags. Uh, it's five apiece. What do you think of that decision? Like right now, Doctor Phil isn't doing anything at all for his team. He's yeah, securing he's... the point, sure, but there's so much damage missing when this from this comes next in, engagement. When this repush comes in, this will be the difference. Maybe if he's not out there spamming the doors. But they, do they know Doctor Phil's there? There's, they seem hesitant to go in against that heavy. Because as you mentioned, and he's not really doing anything for his team. He's just protecting the point. They can see the stickies on the point, you know, in the heat of the, the battle it can be quite hard to figure that out, but if you're there and like you've pushed in, you see stickies on the point, you don't see the demo man top left, you don't see him in spawn, it's quite unlikely he's going to be anywhere else. Uh, if he's like watching a sticky trap on the point, you could probably deduce that he's in the tube, but it's, it's hard to make that sort of uh, logical conclusion whenever you're holding on for dear life here to your your chance to go prem but if they did figure that out that could like really unlock this push when they could just walk in for free top right or walk in for free top left and do as much damage as they like without fear of a demo man putting sticky after sticky onto them but 
they're just waiting here. They're gonna play it super patient, emulating Lego here with a sniper to try and get an entry frag. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you there. The heavy on the top right, soldiers um, sort of go in between each door to try and make up for the lack of demo man. Have they? They must know, surely, if they're playing the top division one. They must know that he's there. They've had a long time to assess the situation. Kenzie gets a pick on Hellberg, so we might actually see another push come in here. Finally! Is this deja vu. Uh, the sort of uh, roles reversed. We saw Lego have success with a similar push. Uh, Ubers have been traded, and uh, now the rotation. No, Nitro goes aggressive and kills Kenzie, the sniper, and he's still taking the fight wow. to 425. With the shotgun, shuts down a knack. And that's a one man advantage as Nigel goes down. None of his team were there to support him. Like, he was in deep there, creating a massive distraction. How and nobody from Lego supported him. How good would that have been if Dr. Phil was following him up? <laughs> if Dr. Phil wasn't still in the fucking tube! What are you doing? There's no need to be <laughs> anymore. It's like, it's good if you're like maybe down the Uber or you want to catch them out or you know their team likes to do these like jump on the point plays, but now it's just pointless. He's been there for three minutes. Is he scared? Is he just scared to come out of his little tube? <laughs> He's AFK. He's just like, going for a smoke or something. Come on, Phil. I believe in you. You got this, Phil. Phil on my Highlander roster. He's an excellent TF2 player. But uh, right now, he is uh, fully focused on defending this point with stickies. He's doing a great job. They haven't actually capped since Phil's been in the tube. You know, there's, that's not a coincidence, Hildreth. Huh? Think about that. Think about that. The mind games right now. He's got he's that playing point on lockdown. <laughs> the Russians are scared now. Oh no, we can't get to him. He's behind some glass. Can't do anything. They when they did push last time in with Uber, they when they tried to repush the demo man, like uh, Death, he was able to spam the combo so efficiently. If it wasn't for Natural coming in from the bottom, I think they would have got in for free and been able to do lots of good Ooh. damage. Elberg drops down and just headshots Kenzie. But you know, that doesn't mean anything. Lego aren't going to push unless they have a six man advantage. Just, it's just stall things out for a, another few minutes here. And uh, Kenzie respawns, he's still on sniper, doesn't take the opportunity to go NG or something, you know, and set up a more solid defense. They're really taking a page out of the. I'd say the Lego play. They're taking the piss, that's what they're taking, mate. I mean, I, I have my team has been accused of doing this on Badlands last before. Where you wait for a pick for a few minutes really frustrates teams, but you know when you're down one nil, you know four minutes thirty, you'd have pushed. When I'm play, I I hate being passive. It's it's all Zoob. He's the bad influence on me. So after a couple of failed attempts to get a pick, I'll say let's just go soldier scout top left, try and get make something happen with our scout or soldier behind the point, something like that. Just try and make something happen. Like you could lose mm. two people, let them push out. And get him out of their comfort zone. Ooh, look at this. Uh, Helbert gets hedge on the Kenzie right at the moment that uh, Dicker Ubered in there. Ubers have been traded and it's not really going to matter. Like, 425 won't want to push with a man disadvantage, even though uh, they just Ubered. They're going to sit back and hope that Lego give them an easy pick, but Lego don't give easy picks. They just wait and wait and wait. They want you to give them an easy pick, and so we've reached a sort of uh, impasse here. Where both teams are hoping that the other will make a silly play. Not even a silly play, but make a play at all that doesn't involve Uber. And neither are going to do it, except for Sniper versus Sniper. I would just love sniper. to see uh, Dr. Phil get timed out of the server, like kicked, moved to spec for being AFK. Kenzie's he's dead. There, sat there for like five minutes. They're going to go. Are they going to go? Of course not. His suicide onto the point. Oh, they found him. They found him. And he's done it. He's a genius. <laughs> Phil. He's a TFT genius. The long con. It paid off. Oh, the Uber advantage, so F2 with a pretty early Uber, and look at this, and that drops down from the balcony with an Uber charge, and he wishes he was playing sold right now, because he could have had a 2k there. Uh, got F2, got the combo, but as it stands, F2 with his early Uber ends up with an Uber oh, he's advantage. he's going back in the tube, Edward. He's going back. They let him out of his cage just for They're winning, man. You know what, like... For all the abuse I've given LEGO, this is a perfectly acceptable way to win the game. If they maintain a one round lead, they do win. We play to the clock here in Europe. After 30 minutes of playtime, the team with the most rounds wins. And they have the most rounds. What do you think of that, Hildreth? I suppose that's the name of the game. Caps win.
games, not kills, as Byte used to always say. I'm not sure Byte would be a fan of this currently, though. Oh, we've just headed into the final uh, 13 minutes of this Badlands map, unless we go to another golden cap. But <laughs> Watch and Heavy shoot each other in the top lobby on Badlands. This is starting to get painful now. Am I watching... Um, Am I watching European TF2 from 2010 or 2014? What's going on? Ah, lots of damage by him. Um, oh. F2 drops two people. They have a better room, but they need some frags. They're under some pressure now. Natural gets one in response, but there's pressure on the point. Could this be it for 425? Natural trying his heart out. And Phil's still Phil. in the tube! Big Phil! Come on, hi, they're just going to shoot the stickies. Oh well, Phil. Not this time. <laughs> but you have to say, that was sort of... F2 or it was Death. Death took the initiative and he just walked in and tried to do damage. He saw the sniper hit a couple of direct pipes and then continued to... I think it was, was it a heavy that got dropped? Yeah, the a heavy, heavy died. A heavy got dropped. That's 450 health that you had to saw go off F2 and you still dropped him. You suck F2. Yeah, Death did too much damage for free because somebody was hiding in the tube. I'm not going to say who. But look at back onto this middle and confident... Um, middle so far from 425 but the counter bomb comes in from natural takes down dicker exchange of frags and f2 is trying to escape now with um Krizzle, temporary pocket hellberg still in trying to make something happen but he's all by himself is he is he on the wrong side no he's getting backed up by his team Krizzle jumps in and they've actually managed to scare them out of the point although Krizzle manages to take down the demo good trade and he gets back out to his medic good mid actually from lego recognizing that it wasn't over yeah, this is maybe, uh, you know, all part of the LEGO Master Plan. They're, they're playing a, a game of pace here, you know, they want to be able to change gears. They show them that they, they can play in the low gear first, or maybe even neutral right there, and now they're going to step it up a little bit. Or will we see them... No, no, we saw, I suppose we saw that they couldn't play in that gear, but now they <laughs> lost their round and turned it into a 1-1 game. They're actually uh, taking the initiative here. Ticker has not got charged, but F2's just popped his off. Uh, looks like Lego will be able to cap Spire, but 425 will have an uber advantage. Will they choose to hold last indefinitely? Oh, God, please no. F2 is in with a, a dangerous syringe bolt there. They're and, going. Uh, wow, they're going for it. They have forced the uber, they're stacking the point as well. So they've created a dangerous situation here where 425's uber has been forced, but they can't push because they have to protect the point. Uh, they're just running, Hellberg just running all one at a time. Like, I know Natural was stuck in there, but none of his um, team were backing him up, so it was pointless him just trying to go for a hero play there. They're given 425 the chance to push out. Could this all be part of the plan, as he was saying? And there they go, they finally push out into a sticky trap, and they get caught in the door. Crystal with a bomb takes Demo Man and the Medic down. They're in trouble now, 425. What well, changed 425? You were so patient for so long. Uh, we saw both teams holding their own last for extended periods. And now we see two rounds in the space of like two minutes. And uh, all that time that LEGO ran off the clock is actually going to put them in good stead. Only 10 minutes left here on this third and deciding map onto this middle. I'm watching Death roll out pretty fast from the house. And he spots nobody coming out of the opposite house and immediately turns his attention onto the valley. And the shithouse Sid gets first blood taken out Krizzle, the Lego roamer. And with that, Lego were already looking for the exit. They didn't want to send anybody in else in there. Zen died trying to get out. But four players from Lego have survived and they're going to do their best to contest Spire here. But Natural and Phil are in fighting and F2 is in the lobby not healing them. So the health is bad here. Big heal advantage for 425. They've sent a player in deep there. That was Lippy that gets Phil. And that's going to open the last point wide Wide, wide. And just before he died though, Phil managed to catch Death as he tried to come into the lobby and support his Roma. So that stops 425 temporarily, but they are pushing last and there's eight minutes left. I don't think they have that long to... Got know. Lippy. Lippy on Spy. We've got an NG as well. Was... Will he sap the sentry? Will it be a timed Highlander style sap and push? I doubt it. I very much doubt it. He'll probably just try and backstab somebody and then die, and then nobody will push for five minutes. So I'm predicted. All, all eyes on the uh, Lippy cam. 
He's about this way underneath right now. He's still got some time in the busy watch. He does decloak. We could await it for a distraction. And Hellerberg spots him. He's trying to land a, rev a single revolver shot there. Did he hit Hellerberg all? No, I don't think so. Maybe the one. <laughs> Which isn't bad. We'll give him one. We'll give him one. Considering Zen actually picks up Kenzie at a one on one on the bottom right. So they were two down there for a second. The Durman's still getting into the fight. And they've taken Sid out as well. Two scouts down. No back cap. And traded Ubers as well. This is a good chance for Lego to reclaim Spy. Air oh, shot by Dr. Phil. Phil. Showing yeah. the. Uh, I knew you could do it, Phil. We've made it's us like, proud today. He was in a Zen state for a long time there in that tube, you know. He was. He looked like he was doing nothing, but he was just super focused, waiting for the moment that 425 would deign to walk in his point. Uh, right now, you, you've seen his uh, Zen monk like abilities there. He's. One with the pipe launcher. Boom. Air shot. Yeah, look at, um, it was so look at the house, Look at the house. Oh, so, uh, maybe I have to Lippy look at the house. hiding up top in that classic uh, rumor position. Crouching soldier. What's going to happen? Nothing. We're still well, watching the same game. Still mates on the last. Still mates on the middle. What is this? I thought Who we does Lippy think he is? Dr. Phil? Hiding crouched up high. He's trying to emulate that uh, game winning stance. Uh, right now, Uber versus Uber. Will anyone push? Yes, it looks like Death wants to come in. He's not got his medic. I see it's a push from the flank here. Anak and Death are coming in with the Uber. Fully loaded. They eventually force F2, but many seconds after. It's like at least 40% still in the tank there for. Uh, F2 if they wanted to push, they did manage to get one frag, that was Lippy, but nothing else happens on the back of this. They're just gonna take a peek and see if they can find another frag in the house, but there's any Phil jumps in high! Phil trying to put pressure on the sniper to allow everyone else to walk in for free, he does go down to the SMG, he got lightning gun right there by Kenzie, uh, and as everybody else comes in, two or three seconds too late, they go down and Lego field push back to last. Back to last, but they've been very comfortable the last so far in this game. I guess Phil got tired of this passive play. He was like, "Come on, boys, we got to do something." Jumps in, but it was a bit ambitious. How far he went in, he was in easy kill for 4:25, and then they just got a bit desperate after that. Lost three people. Could have worked. They've like been right behind him, like straight in. The sniper was not watching choke there. They could have followed. Like it would have been a pretty blunt force play, but it might have worked. But if they just could let him go in and die and then try and push, it's probably not going to work. Yeah, maybe he's a bit ahead of his team. I do agree, but they did have a sniper, so I think it was the right choice for them to push into middle there, but execution was off. Mm. Oh, there is. <laughs> what is it they say? There's no such thing as a bad plan, only bad execution. That was bad execution. It certainly was. I believe that too. Anything can work in TF2. But you are main calling for your <laughs> Highlander team, and I've seen your. your oh, we're playing you this weekend. But there's a play on the point here by 425. Oh, it was so close there. Natural die to defend it, but something. Sid comes in from bottom right and gets on the point. Classic Dale Man from main, scout through bottom right. Stiggy's on the point. 2 2, 4 minutes and 16 seconds left on the clock. And we have a game, Admirable. If you run heavy on last and you stand there with your minigun spun up the whole time, there is not a hope in hell of you being able to block the point ever. You're just too damn slow. And uh, Sid with the cap there, well played. 2-2 two -two here. And it's an aggressive middle from the Lego soldiers. Krizzle and Phil bombing forward, but Death reads it, steps back into choke and allows them to come. He's going to chew them up and spit them out. Zen has been taking a peek into the 425 house, then runs all the way across the middle and into his own house, he will be the last man standing for Lego, but that was effectively a white total annihilation there, but Dicker went down, so that's that's not so bad. It was an equal medic trade, I guess. See, some of these fights, I just feel 425 is stronger teamwork, and like the focus fight, because some of the players were so weak for Lego, and they are going to contest this fight, they don't want to give this up. They know it's just one person trying to cap it by himself, Flippy, and he actually dies. As we have an intense fight on choke, one of the most intense in the game, and then two people died in it, and it's sad because it's true. As they're going to stabilize again. Yeah, this is uh, where the position Lego find themselves in before when they last uh, sent Dr. Phil skywards to open up the push here. I wonder 
Look at look at F two and Nigel are way way back. I think they th probably think that Dicker has a bigger Uber advantage. Fear you know, of crits, they don't, maybe. They don't want to hold forward at all. They got Phil and Hellberg there. They want four twenty five to push in. It's they want to give them uh, yeah. enough room. Oh yeah, that's a good point actually. Two minutes face. Playing five. for the golden cap. Playing for the golden cap. They go golden cap masters. They want to take it on a GC. If you think about it, if one team gets wiped, right? If if Lego get wiped, it's pretty much the end of their um, season. They'll be in Division One. Your cup is half empty. And here comes the suicide play. Turn the force F2 F2 doesn't pop. Lippy gets them one rocket on him, but F2 surfed it pretty nicely. Will they push? Lego gonna go for it. They're going for it. Admirable. I'm so surprised. Oh, F2 with the big early Uber. They spit Again. too much. I think Dr. Phil's jumped out, Reese up, Natural's jumped behind F2 into house with Krizzle, running into an Ubered soldier, that's never going to work for you Krizzle. He's done, F2's now pushing in through Valley with the scout to help his demo man. They're all over the place, Lego, F2's not hitting anybody, they're getting picked up one at a time. No like magical um, deathmatching skills from Lego, they just separated and died one at a time and now there's 90 seconds left and 425 they're gonna go for it they smell weakness yeah and uh, I mean we've seen these early ubers from F2 time and time again and I think that was a uh, another one oh death is a real opportunity to clip up here but Zen appears from nowhere oh baby one minute left Lego can do it they can bring it to a golden cab but right now they are being asked to play in a style unbecoming of them, they need to go balls out aggressive here if they want to make it happen, Hildreth, and mm -mm, they haven't really demonstrated that too often over the three maps we've seen. Can yeah. they do it? You have to believe they're going for the valley rollout, the aggressive valley rollout. Soldier underneath, scouts at shithouse, ready to go in. Here comes the jump onto the point. The FF2's gone underneath, healing the scout, but they've, it's two for two trade right now. And uh, they're just holding their side of the point. Um, 425 saying you have to come at us, but Helberg actually oh. gets in on the medic. This is a chance for Lego, they need to um, clean up the rest of these players trying to get onto F2. And F2 is all alone in the valley, he goes down to Kenzie. That could be the game. 25 seconds left. Game. Calling it. Game. It's not even. Is it mathematically possible if you had players stacked and all the points? Probably could. But uh, they don't have <laughs> that luxury. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to cap within the next 9 seconds, it's going to finish 3-2 and LEGO will be cast down into Division 1 if they choose to stay alive to learn their best friends, why wouldn't they? But 425 have earned their entry into the Premiership next season the good old fashioned way. There's going to be two Russian teams in the Prem, I can't remember the last time. I mean, that was like before seasons were in double digits, it could have been like LOL team and uh, Team Empire or something like that. I think that might have been my first season in TF2. I remember there were two Russian teams in Prem. That was when there were 10 teams per division, wasn't it? Yeah, the, the good old days. So it wasn't even called the Prem, it was like Division 1. Division 1 was the, the top. But uh, yeah, congratulations to 425. We should look at the logs real quick and uh, see if we can define any patterns in there. What do you think? Would so that be the decent thing to do? I think the damage is going to be extremely low, the amount of stalemates. But Are you talking right now? Damn I am mumbles. talking right now. Sorry. I am admirable. It's mumble. I wasn't sure if you'd left me again or if it was just my... Never again admirable. Bizarre mumble communication. Tell me what you see in these logs. Have you got them? I have got them, well... 3-2 right now. Um, Obviously, Dr. Phil spending half the game in the tube, but only did 6k damage. Yeah, he uh, didn't do as much damage as Death, that's for sure. And again, Death stays alive, does the damage, gets the frags. Lippy, in his attempts as a superstar sub-Roma, I don't know when he came into the game, like 20 minutes in left or something. He got 3 for 12, but it doesn't really matter. They made it uh, just a very passive game very defensive. Neither side really wanted to push off of anything like you know, little advantages. So you're not gonna see high damage, high frags. I think the key is just the amount of times that um death stayed alive. 
Yeah, he's there and kills an assist for death again. He, or, he's having a very efficient game outplaying Dr. Phil uh, in an every way imaginable. <laughs> uh, so congratulations to 425. I don't want to look at these logs for another second. But I do want to tell everybody that there will be another cast tonight. And it's going to be the ESEA invite game between Classic Mixup and Froyo Tech. And I think that's the Bunny versus Platinum game, right? Those are the two teams. That's correct. I don't think it's going to be as um, aggressive as this game, though. I think they'll be sitting last <laughs> for most of it with snipers and heavies. That's my prediction. Let anyway. me check. I'm not going Let to stay up for that. Uh... So like instead of uh, admiring myself in time zones and stuff, I'm going to tell you that that game will be going live in 5 hours and 13 minutes. And I know that because I'm looking at the event on TeamFortress.tv. You should head over there, bookmark that website because it will keep you in tune with all the goings on and top level competitive TF2 and 6s at least. A little bit of Highlander there too, but there's a the forum community, etc, etc. Or ETC as it's just to say. Shout out to Epsys on the chat there. But but uh, after that then, tomorrow, around the same time today, minus an hour or two, will be the ETFTL Season 17 Premiership Semi-Final. It's going to be a Somniac representing France versus The Last Resort. And that's going to be a pretty sick game. The winner of that will get to play in the Grand Final next week against Maid in Germany. I think I might be casting that one tomorrow. Hildreth, you're not invited, mate. I'm going to regret that tomorrow when I'm really desperate for a caster. But yeah, I've had a great time with you tonight, buddy. The pleasure was all mine. As you will get, you'll be missing me when you're stuck with somebody else like War or Commander X. He'll be crying out for my name in the night sky. Oh, yeah. Wait, see, see, Commander X is actually starting his journey to Lithuania tomorrow. Otherwise, you know, I would have hoped to see him in War, the hot new casting duo in there doing work so i'm not even sure who is going to be casting uh i should mention as well that on saturday there's going to be an info show land in lithuania and there's a few decent teams attending you might just think it would be russian shitters but no uh we're going to be casting that on team forest tv as well uh oh, ips says he could cast if he really needs one maybe we'll have ips tomorrow but then he says i don't think i should i'm reading out his chat log live sorry ips but we'll see Keep an eye on Team Forest TV. We'll put the event up tonight and we'll let you know who's casting. But either way, you need to tune in. And as I said, on Saturday, we'll be casting next as well. There'll be another event up for that. But uh, plenty of TF2 action between now and uh, Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Eldrith, any uh, final thoughts? What do you think LEGO should do? Well, first should, they to... fold? should they fold? Are you going to uh, cast them? I don't want them to fold. You know, Back to the one. I love this the team Lego, but it's just certainly changed in the season. Gone from being a in it in a I can't I can't speak a creative team with that were really aggressive to a, one of these really passive, boring teams. So that's part of their downfall, I suppose. But I don't want them to fold. I want to see them in Division One next season. And uh, I want them to believe. Every time I've had Nitro in an interview. Throughout the season, I've told them that his team needs to play with some self-belief, some swagger, you know, and I have yet to see it. Jump in. I don't want them to fold and just throw an out there to start a riot or something. Jump in, pipe down three people, taunt them, that sort of thing. That's what I want to see Dr. Phil doing next season. But yeah, um, just, just believe, man, you know. Congratulations. Believe that you can do it. To 425, they did win the game after all. Had to yeah, deal with the uh, well style of Lego and they got the job done intense fashion so looking forward to seeing them in prem next season other than that i think i'm done i'll give a sh quick shout out to from morphine to steve because i was asked to before the game i never forget i never forget yeah you guys should uh follow hildreth on twitter the twitter thing <laughs> that he never I uses don't, i don't tweet H hildreth uh 1101 is that it something like that Something sure like that, to post. Yeah, I'm that's sure what to it is. Retweet everything you do, admirable. You should follow me as well. I'm an admirable player. And Ducky has a Twitter account too, which he says he isn't going to use at DuckyTFTV. But apart from that, we're done for now. If you feel like staying up tonight, make sure and check out that NA game. It should be pretty sick. 
Otherwise, you can catch the VODs on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Team Forest TV. The VODs of this game will be going up there uh, sometime, probably tomorrow. It's way past my bedtime right now, Heldrith. But uh, shout out to Dougie for streaming and tune in tomorrow for more Euro action. Thank you. Good night.